Hello ladies and gentlemen, today we're in Cornwall in a village called Tintado. This is one of its notable landmarks, the old post office. It was built in 14th century and it follows a plan of a medieval manor house. But hold on to your seats, because after taking a quick look around, I will show you the biggest and most mysterious place, which is just outside the village. If we go back in history, the word Tintagel means village on a mountain, which I think it's a pretty accurate description. The village is full of small shops and, of course, the famous St. Nectan's Pottery. So before we go on the journey to embrace the mysterious place, we had to pop in to get the traditional Cornish pasty. The place we're about to see is Tintagel Castle and Merlin's Cave. As we went down the long pathway towards the sea, the further we went, the more it felt that the sharp rocks create some kind of atmosphere where it's hard to put a thumb on it. It was as if the place was drawing us in. And there it is, that hill, that gigantic rock on which the ruin of castle is situated. It was built in 13th century. That is the age of the ruin which is there at present. Most likely that there were wooden versions of the castle way before the stone version was built. Down below is the great cave where, according to the legend, Merlin, the great sorcerer, lived. Behind me, you see the rock. But it's not just any rock, it's a very, very special place. According to the legend, this is the place where King Arthur was conceived. And that, that cave, or should I say array of caves, is where Merlin lived. To me, it's all about the scale, about the sense of grandioseness, the grandeur, if you will. But look at that little fence right there on the top of the cliff. You can see how small the people are. Isn't that a perfect place for a castle? First time we came there, the tide was in and we could barely get past the rocks. Second time we went, the tide was out and we could come and see this beautiful waterfall which we couldn't see when the tide was in. This is the cave where Marilyn lived. Once you walk into that cave, the sound of the sea and the cold breeze really take you away. And this is what the cave and castle look like from the neighboring cliff top. The scene is spectacular. It is amazing to realize that this is the place where King Arthur was born and that he walked the same cliffs.
this is where the great legends of King Arthur start. Thank you for watching. Share this video so that others would be able to see these glorious and beautiful places. And until next week, bye bye.